Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and this is the official discussion video for update 1.16. We're going to be talking about was this DLC worth it? Uh, basically, that's kind of a stupid question because you don't really have to even do anything with it if you want it. But basically, we're going to be talking about the DLC, talking about all of the content included, how much it costs, kind of doing a review of this DLC and talking about everything that was included. So anyway, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, go ahead and leave a like. And this is a discussion video. I definitely want to hear your comments and feedback in the comment section down below. Kind of respond to each other, interact, and I'll be in the comments as well responding and talking about my opinions as well. So we're gonna basically going through and telling you guys the prices of all the major stuff and then kind of giving you guys a grand total for how much this DLC cost, which uh, which you guys are probably not gonna believe at all. Actually, you might because uh, I know a lot of you guys probably couldn't afford half the stuff in the DLC. It was pretty darn expensive. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is basically if you buy everything in the DLC. If you buy just like one of every single individual thing that was available in this DLC, this is what your grand total is going to be. So basically, we, first up we have the Swift Heal that was two different variants. There was a 1.5 mil variant and 1.6 uh, mil variant. There was a Buckingham Miljet for $1.7 million, a Western Bessera for $1.15 million, the Classic Coquette, which is uh, $665,000, and the Co Classic Topless, which was almost $700,000. In addition to that, we had some flight suits and pilot masks. We had new parachute bags, the reserve parachute, a lot of different customization on that, and also kind of like the, uh, the parachute customization bags that you can put on your back, everything like that. That. There was new interiors for an apartment and new flight school missions. That was basically everything that was added in in this update and then some like feature stuff like that. But that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about the actual content of this DLC. So basically, if you total all of that up and you add some uh, you add something like changing for the clothes, the different items, changing up your apartment, everything like that, and uh, kind of just totaling everything up, it comes out to seven point one eight million dollars for this DLC. 7.18 million dollars. Now again, you can probably sub subtract about uh, almost 2 million, a little bit under 2 million, if you guys did not uh, purchase the second uh, Swift Hilo or the second Croquette. Basically, uh, still almost almost six million dollars for this DLC if you guys didn't purchase anything that uh, that was like duplicates or anything like that if you just got the bare minimums of this DLC and wanted to try out everything that was a six million dollar DLC so converting that to GTA online money I'm gonna be going by the uh, the original one kind of because because it's pretty darn close the 7.81 million or 7.18 million dollars is almost one hundred dollars of GTA or real money converted to GTA cash. I, I had to spend a uh, $100 card on a Megalodon shark card to be able to afford this DLC because I was put in the cheater's pool, all my money was removed, even all of my legit money that I had earned from doing races with you guys and live streams and stuff like that. Just absolutely ridiculous how expensive this DLC was and it just sucked everyone dry. So uh, now, now that we've got the kind of the prices out of the way, I wanna talk about was this stuff worth it. The, the Swift Hilo, now was it worth $1.5 million? I'm not really sure about that. It looks pretty cool. It's, uh, it has some cool features, but it really serves the same exact purpose that the uh, the previous helicopter, so it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. So I would not say that this is worth $1.5 million at all. I'd say it's worth around $750,000, if anything. So. Um that was the Swift Hilo. Next up is the Buckingham Miljet, uh, priced at $1.7 million. Now this is very, very pricey. However, I do agree that this, uh, I, I like, I'm happy with my purchase with the Buckingham Miljet because it can fit 16 whole people into a Buckingham Miljet and uh, you can just fly it around and have the entire lobby in your Miljet. Now, whether or not it's worth it because you only need one for the entire server to fit in there or uh, just basically if you want one or not, how complete you want your GT Online character to be, that's basically the question you have to ask if you want the Buckingham Miljet. So that was 1.7 million. The Western Bestra was 1.15 million. Again, pretty darn pricey, but I'd agree with it. It was really, really fun to use. However, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. It's the exact same as the laser. You can just spawn it in different locations. So uh, it's basically $1.15 million for the uh, the ability to spawn this jet at the nearest airfield. Now the Coquette, again, that's just kind of personal opinion. If you guys like it, you can buy it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. I personally like the topless version a little bit better, but uh, you guys can discuss that in the comment section down below. Now, uh, in, in terms of content, in terms of the number of outfits. There were so, so many outfits that we saw, <clears throat> basically brand new stuff in the trailer that we all thought we were gonna get. We were thought we, were thought we were gonna get like military style pants, different captain outfits, like different flight suits, different stuff that they showed inside of the uh, inside of the DLC trailer, but then never appeared in the game, which was really, really disappointing for me. I was really looking forward to some of those different outfits. So that was pretty, uh, that was pretty frustrating in my opinion. And overall the flight school, the missions are really, really fun. I agree with those completely. And I'm 
actually going to be live streaming those missions right now. If you go down to my Twitch, I'm going to be live at this moment, live streaming these things. So uh, if you're watching this when this video goes up, definitely come over and hang out with me and uh, watch some watch some flight school missions. So uh, other than that, the parachutes were absolutely worth it. I really like the parachute stuff. I'm really glad they decided to add that in. But overall, in content terms, it was really, really lacking in the clothing department and lacking in the gun department. Again, there's no clothing, no guns that were really added in aside, aside from a few different things. And the, while the flight, the pilot outfit is very, very cool, it's not any variety. Like everyone's going to be using the pilot outfit, and uh, if everyone's using it, it's not going to be as cool. So uh, overall, I'd say this DLC was definitely cool. It it should have should have had more content for how long we waited for it. That was the, another factor. We waited 50 days for this DLC. I think it should have had one, number one more content. Number two, they should have fixed the glitch where they basically took out the musket. They're working on that right now. I did a video on that earlier. And number three, they should have made things less expensive because the, just the price for this DLC, we did not even get that much content. It was just super, super expensive. I'm sure I'm sure Rockstar made a ton of money on this DLC, but I, I feel like they need to kind of like give back a little bit more with that, especially when they're nerfing Rooftop Rumble and some other stuff like that. They're again, increasing payout and increasing payouts for other, other missions, but Rooftop Rumble, some of the grinding missions have been nerfed yet again. So that's kind of frustrating. Anyway, let me know what your, uh, your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this DLC. Was it worth it or not for you? I definitely think it was worth it in the fact that if you had money, it was definitely worth it. If you did not have the money, it was definitely not worth $100 of real life money that I spent on it. So anyway, guys, my name is NoJ456. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.